ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Review. Stay in front of you is the new Boulder Odyssey 45, uh, their first stainless steel model with Lumicast. And uh, as you can see, those markers are quite potent. <laughs> you want to wait for the loom shot for this one, it's really quite insane. Some of the best loom I've ever seen on a watch. Extremely bright, potent, long-lasting, and very, very legible at night. Anyway, this is the new model. It's housed in a solid 316L stainless steel case with an aged finishing. These models start around, um, this is the coral brown model. There are a few different color variations. These ones go for around 800 US dollars. But there's always a discount code or some kind of discount on their website. We'll drop a link in the description below to check them out after this video. Now let's see what's on my wrist today and then we'll dig deeper into this new 45 millimeter Boulder Odyssey. My wrist today is the Tissot PRX Quartz model, a watch that's been getting a lot of wrist time and a lot of other YouTubers actually really like this watch as well. I have the black dial variation. Um, it took some, you know, it took a couple days to decide if I wanted the blue or the black, but this is definitely a watch you can keep for like a lifetime. It's just one of those watches that doesn't get old. A nice integrated bracelet, as you can see, it's really scratched up already. Now, this bracelet definitely does scratch. Uh, we'll have a review coming real soon. I've been a quite, pretty busy lately, um, pumping out a lot of reviews. So definitely stay tuned for the full review of this Tissot PRX. Now the new Boulder Odyssey model is a limited edition model. So there's only 100, um, 100 pieces, it says here. Uh, limited to 100 pieces with individual serial numbers. Obviously each piece will have their own unique serial number, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, but some very nice specifications for the money as well. And always, Boulder usually always definitely has good quality. Um, you can feel it in their watches. Now this one is housed in a 45.5 millimeter solid 316L stainless steel case. It's a bigger watch, I'm not gonna lie. It's 16.8 millimeters thick, so it's a quite quite a large watch. Um, we have a 22 millimeter lug with here. Lug to lug is only 52 though, which is kind of nice. Um, so the lug to lug is not too big for a 45.5 millimeter case, making it kind of wearable. Um, I have a 6.5, 6.75 inch wrist when my wrist swells in the summer. And I can pull this one off. I admit it's a little big. Uh, I would prefer their smaller version, but this is what I have to review. And I'll give you my honest thoughts about it. Now, the watch itself is obviously a dive watch. It's 500 meters water resistant. We have a matte kind of brownish dial, um, which is really nice. But screw down crown, screw down case back as well with their little design, which I'll show you in a little bit. We have a double dome sapphire crystal with inner side anti-reflective coating, making it very legible. As usual, as you can see, it kind of pokes up a little bit above there, above the bezel. The bezel is 120 clicks and definitely a true dive bezel. Uh, this thing is definitely really, really nice. Very solid clicks. There's no back play. Everything is really, really nice. This thing is definitely capable of diving as this is a true dive watch capable of going 500 meters. Um, the hands stayed pretty much the same on the Odyssey. We have those nice hands there, as you can see, which are fully loomed as well. The sweeping seconds hand has a rectangle with a red outline on it, as you can see. Um, reaches all the way out to the chapter ring, which I do appreciate. We have a date cutout, which kind of stays out of the way of things, but is also extremely legible. Uh, you can see in a black background, the numeral 10 there peeking out. So it's very legible. It stays out of the way of things, keeps the dial symmetrical. You have double markers and a loomed pip at the 12 single markers at the rectangular markers at the three and the nine, a small rectangle below the date at the six. Um, but yeah, definitely a very, very clean dial. I must say it's very easy to read. It's definitely a dive watch. Um, but yeah, their cases are very interesting as you can see. And as you can see from the side profile, the bezel grip is also very, very good. These deep grooves that are cut out here. But just a lot of shapes on their Odyssey. You can see it comes down here and it comes down here. You have nice crown guards here. The crown is very easy to grip as well. Inside of this one, we are getting the Salita SW200, which is a Swiss automa uh, automatic caliber, uh, which beats at four hertz, around a 38 hour power reserve. And it, they're pretty accurate. This one about five, plus five seconds a day, five or six seconds. So no need to worry, you get hand winding, hacking. And you know, it's a reliable movement. It's a competitor of the Edit 2824, basically the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew the crown here and see how it functions. So very, positive pop out there, very strong pop out. Get self winding, which is very easy with their crowns. It's kind of like a double crown here, which is really nice. Very smooth. One position, we should have a quick set date. Yep. Final position, your hacking position. We can set the time here. And as you can see, the Boulder logo is printed below the 12 to match those Lumicast markers. Set it to 1010, push that back in. Seconds hand will sweep and screw this back in. So no issue with the crown at all. It is also signed with the Boulder logo. 
Now, very interesting on the case back. Well, the strap is really cool too. It's a new strap. Um, I'll get into that in a second. Case back, you have that very nice design. As you can see, that's their bolder design. Some basic specifications, your number, limited edition, sapphire automatic, very nice, polished and raised and custom engraved there. Uh, very neat, very nice work. Now, for those of you who don't know what Lumicast is, um, right here on the website, it explains it to you perfectly. <laughs> um, it does say, you think you've seen Lum? Think again, the ultra bright markers on each watch are made from Lumicast, especially casted 3D Lum. The term 3D is, a, is used to depict the raised nature of the markers, which are built by combining ceramic parts with their Swiss Super Luminova. So it's 3D loom, basically. And basically, you're gonna see it at all different angles. It's very potent and bright. It's obviously more expensive to do than standard applying standard Swiss Super Luminova. And it looks very neat. As you can see here, everything is all in one. Basically, the markers are crafted of loom, uh, basically. It seems like that which is really cool. Um, the loom is very, very potent. I'm gonna get you guys a loom shot right now and we'll see how potent it is. And as you can see, this loom is freaking crazy, man. Just look at this loom. It's so, so evenly applied. Everything is perfect. There are no errors. Everything is nice and potent and strong. Even the 12 o'clock pip is just as potent as all those markers in the hands, even the little rectangle on the sweeping seconds hand. Um, this loom will last the whole night. It's very legible. It's gonna be a torch when you go out at night, so definitely if you're in a movie theater, someone will probably tell you to turn your phone off, but you'll just say, that's my boulder odyssey. <laughs> um, but yeah, Loom is very, very good. Now the actual band itself is a new style band I've never seen before, I've never experienced before. They call it the Druber Floralastomer Rubber Band. Um, it's a pretty cool, it has custom fitted ends over here, so it fits perfectly to the watch. It's obviously genuine rubber. They engraved their Boulder logo. Nice amount of room, very long, good for larger size wrists, obviously. And of course you have two keepers here, one with the Boulder logo, one signed Boulder. Get a custom aged buckle here, which matches the case finish. Always nice to see. And then heading to the back, you can see there is quick release pin, so you can just swap it out whenever you want. More raised engraving here on the strap. So obviously a lot of work went into producing these straps. You can see Drew BR printed there on both sides and Boulder. Just all around, an extremely flexible strap. Uh, definitely fits perfectly on the wrist. It uh, doesn't attract any length or anything like that because it's genuine rubber, of course. And it's just really nice. It feels very high quality and luxurious. Um, we're gonna throw it on my 6.5 inch wrist and see exactly how it looks. On my 6.5 inch wrist, I, honestly, the watch is not that big for a 45.5 millimeter. Um, everything, is con everything conforms nicely due to that curvature of the strap, which uh, sits at the case very, very nice and very precise, there's no gap or anything like that. It basically looks like all in one. It looks as if it's, you know, one piece. Um, very nice job on the integration of the band. Uh, lug to lug or across my 6.5 inch wrist, you get a glimpse of that helium escape valve as well for that 500 meters water resistance. Uh, but yeah, it fits very nicely. Um, it's a larger watch, I'm not gonna lie, obviously. If you like larger dive watches, definitely go for this one at 45. Obviously they have smaller sizes as well, um, if you wanna check them out. But yeah, it definitely looks pretty cool. Kind of has a military-ish feel for me. Um, kind of like a military tough dive watch due to that color of the dial and the bit matching band as well and the aged stainless steel case and bezel. Um, definitely has a very militaristic feel to it and look, uh, which is something new I haven't seen from Boulder before. So furthermore, guys, what do I think of the new Boulder Odyssey 45.5 with the Lumicast? Well, the Lumicast is definitely a big upgrade. If you're a loom freak, you're definitely gonna wanna check one of these watches out because this loom is freaking crazy, guys. Also, you're getting a lot of good components here. The quality on Boulder watches is always very good. You don't have to worry about their quality or quality control or anything like that. They're a pretty big micro brand and they've been going for quite some years now and uh, they have very good customer service as well. So I would not worry or be hesitant about purchasing one of these if you really like the watch. Um, obviously, I'm not here to sell you anything. If you like the watch, you're gonna buy it. If you don't, obviously, you're not gonna buy it. Um, but yeah, I think it's a very well-made watch. Uh, everything, you know, checks out for the price of $800. I believe there's like a $20 discount code for like, you probably get it for like $780. Um, but it's a watch that will last a long time. It has a great Swiss automatic movement. You get a double-domed sapphire crystal, Lumi cast. You get a custom rubber band and 500 meters of water resistance. You know, it's not a homage watch or anything like that. This is definitely a custom case design as usual from Boulder. They're not really into the homage watches. Um, nothing against homage watches. Um, their style is definitely very unique, uh, which is kind of rare to see in the micro brand or smaller brand world. 
Um, but yeah, I didn't find any quality control issues with the watch. I never have found a quality control issue with a Boulder watch so far in, you know, five or six, seven years reviewing watches. So I've reviewed, I believe, three or four of their watches. I've never had a quality control issue on my end. Um, so definitely very good QC on their end, obviously. Um, but yeah, obviously, if you don't like bigger watches, if you don't like aged stainless steel, maybe you won't like this one. They have a whole line of watches. Um, I'm sure you'll find something you'll like. It's a pretty cool brand, it's a smaller brand from Singapore, and they always do everything very good. Their, bo their uh, boxes are also pretty cool. Most of you guys are familiar with the box. I don't think I have to show it. It's that, you know, that kind of Pelly box which snaps open with your warranty card, and then you get a polishing cloth as well. Um, but yeah, I think it's a pretty cool release from uh, Boulder. New colorways, new stuff like that. And yeah, I wonder what they have for it in the future to release. I remember they had a super compressor style watch, which was really nice. Um, I believe I took a look at that one a few years ago. Really loved that one as well. So yeah, definitely kudos to Boulder. They're doing some good things in the watchmaking world. Hope to see more stuff from them in the upcoming uh, in the upcoming years. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews with the new Boulder Odyssey. I will see you guys real soon. Definitely don't forget to subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment. It doesn't hurt. And I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.